Good morning, my beautiful people. Y'all, somebody's moving in again. I'm tired of people moving in. I need a night in a hotel or something to just rest. Because since my new neighbors moved in, we have not gotten any rest. They are so loud. And I don't want to be mean. Like, I don't want to bother them. I be trying not to be mean, but it's like, I don't sleep no more. I'm about to run to Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, to go get um, brochet bread because my girlfriend wants freaking, hold on, my sister's calling, I'll call you right back. I'm gonna put y'all on hold. Like I was saying, I'm going to um, Trader Joe's to go get um, bread because my girlfriend wants French toast. And then um, I'm about to get myself flower arrangements because my flowers died. But honestly, they lasted so long, which I was so surprised about. And I'm going to definitely be using the technique that I did um, more often, putting ice cubes in it. I heard that helps. And this is the longest my flowers have ever lasted. So I got a new job. Um, I low-key don't want to work, but my brother's girlfriend works there. So I want to work there with her just like so I have somebody to hang out with. But... It is what it is. I just got back from Trader Joe's. Um, it was a little packed in there, so I didn't want to film because, like, I just didn't want to be in everybody's way. I didn't learn how to pronounce flowers, the flowers name, but it's like, yeah, y'all see it because I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. And yeah, I got some tulips. And yeah, I got this. So I'm thinking of putting, I, I might just put this in my shower. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in my shower and I might put one of them in the arrangements, I don't know. But get into it, it's so pretty. Y'all love flowers so much, I wanna be a flower. I am a flower. They gave me this big bucket and they have water. It has water in it. I'm not even surprised that they do all that because literally every single time somebody walks in there, the first thing they do is go look at the flowers. I wanted to do something a little better, but I didn't. I was about to spend like $50 on flowers, but I didn't feel like that was a good idea. Y'all listen. I want to move so bad. I reached out to my landlord. Um, I talked to her. I was like, girl, I cannot, I can't do, see, you hear? I was like, girl, I cannot do the noise. I just can't, like, there's no reason why I'm missing out on sleep. Like, I can't sleep. I don't have peace in my house. I try speaking to her. And this lady gonna say, she gonna say to me, oh, your lease is up in July, so you know, you could look for a different apartment. I was like, what? I did not ask you. I literally did not ask you when my lease was up. I know when my lease is up, I have my lease. All I'm asking you is to, you know, help me out here. And then she just keeps talking about, oh, call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. I don't want to do that. The people above me have kids and the previous people that was above me, they had kids too. But I finally got the courage to call the cops because you know, they were being mean to me. So I was like, I'm not going to be nice to y'all about being mean to me. So I wind up calling the cops. And I guess that helped them settle down a little bit. But the person that just moved above me, I know them. So, <clears throat> you know, I've been trying to be really lenient and, like, understanding. Like, I don't want to be mean. And, like, even when I reach out to her and stuff and, like, say, like, hey, you know, can you keep the noise down a little bit? Just a tad bit. Yeah, I was trying to do my voiceover for my shower routine, and you could hear all the stomping and the screaming and everything in my voiceover. I was like, what? <laughs> but yeah, like, I tried talking to her and stuff. Like, she's a little understanding, like, don't get me wrong, but, you know, she has a son. She has a kid, so it's like, you know, I have nieces and nephews, too, so I know how that goes. But, yeah, I don't feel like I should be miserable. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just... I'm just, yeah. This is my home. So, having a look for other places has been like, has been like, you know, making me feel sad. Like, I don't want to do that. 
I want to stay here. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, I need to make this first toast. Well, I went out yesterday. I went to a wedding yesterday, and I just came to the conclusion that, like, maybe. Maybe I don't hate going outside. I just hate going to places in my state. Like, I don't have fun here. I don't feel like I'm at home, if that makes sense. So when I go outside, I'm just like. And I don't want that for me. Like, I want to have fun. Like, I have not, there's not once in Iowa that I have gone outside and I actually had fun. And like, I'm not even like, I hate feeling like I'm like the party pooper and everything. But, honestly, I don't even feel like I'm party pooper. I just feel like, like, honestly, like, I just don't have fun here. Iowa is just not my forever home. I don't want to have my children here. I don't want to build a house here. I don't want to do none of that here. Because I just don't like this place. At all. Anywho, I'm getting so... I've been getting so big, y'all. So, like I tried to, I was trying on clothes yesterday, and I was so sad. I was like, what? Well, I wasn't sad. I was. It was like bittersweet, cause I've been trying to gain weight, but it was just something where I was like, this is absurd. Like you're getting huge. getting a bigger base because they look like they're suffocating on there so I'm not even thinking about it I'm gonna go get a bigger face but they look so gorgeous to literally run out the nail shop because I forgot you guys so I'm rushing back right now so yeah I'll call y'all back when I get back there
she like from a million gun and diamond flips. I'm gon' ball out for and just hold grinding for a minute. Love how I dunk, she'll catch up on the AR, how you did that? Check out this up when you take off, how you did that? You put switches up, all your bleakies, how you did that? Your LB bed turn to a legit, how you did that? I seen that dick turn to a loony, how you did that? That look like a brand new booty, how you did that? You got face songs and love with a watch, how you did that? You eat some spices in your closet, why you did that? Yeah, I don't know if y'all remember, but I told y'all back in December that I have really bad periods. And to this day, I don't know what it is, but it's been getting worse. I have been avoiding the hospital, which I shouldn't be. But I just feel like doctors, they just always coming up with something. There's just that anxiety. I, don't, I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with that. I don't want them putting me on stuff that's going to make me 10 times worse. Today I'm working, I'm working from 3 to 11. Um, I got a new job, y'all. And when I start working, I get really, really sad. Um, I just I just can't do 9 to 5s. Like, just being tied to a job, and I just can't do that. But my schedule is a cool schedule. So basically what I'm going to do is um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are the only days I work. But I'm still going to get my 40 hours because Sunday and Monday I'm doing doubles. And then Monday, I work 7 to 3. And then the rest of the week, I'm off. And I just have time to do whatever I want to do. So, you know, I, I like that. I just, you know, it's just the devil's part, but it's whatever. But I would rather that than working literally Monday through Friday. I just can't do that. Like, like just imagine. Like, when I used to do that, bro, it just felt like I was tied to a job. Like, I didn't have time to do anything like i had to every single day wake up and get ready for work i rather i would rather just know i'm about to spend my entire day at work and come home do it again the next day the next day i just spend half of my day there and i have the rest of the week to myself i have other things i want to do i cannot be too tied to a job y'all i can't like everybody tells me girl you can't keep a job because i'm not supposed to be working working is not for me and for me i am somebody that literally I'm a born hustler like I keep telling people this I am a hustler like I will literally this I will find something new to make a new way to make money so like I just can't be tied to a job I finally laid my hair in like God knows how long I just don't like heat in my hair so I just be leaving the house whatever but it looks cute <laughs> wrong with me yeah i am not okay <laughs> yes Daddy, how you hi <laughs> hi 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 really he just hangs up on me like he calls me and hangs up Good morning, bestie. Today is a new day. And there is no sunshine. There is sunshine, actually. I am about to run to Target. Um, I had seen these flowers that I really wanted. And I don't have flowers right now, so I need to go get flowers. 
but um what do i have to do today um oh i'm also gonna go get this hair taken up taken down um i don't know i'm not feeling it and it doesn't match match my hair i got clippings there's some clippings in here i got clip it i got clippings from my beauty supply store and um it matches my hair perfectly so um, i'm about to have my home girl touch me up and press my hair hopefully so i could get my clippings in but yeah um I don't know. This hairstyle is cute. Don't get me wrong. But I got a big head. I have a really big head. And I'm just not feeling it. My sister burnt my forehead, y'all. She really messed me up. She burnt my forehead. And she gonna say, instead of saying sorry, she gonna say damn. I burnt myself the other day, too. Like, what the fuck that got to do with me? You just burnt me. Fix it. And quick. I'm about to go to Target now um, to look at my flowers. And the girl hasn't texted me back to let me know what she wants to do. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I might be going to Minnesota. I'm, I don't know yet, but... We'll see. We will see. The girls that I'm going with, they not even... I want to knock each and every one of them out. They not even letting me know what's good, like what we doing. Because <laughs> I'm starting to get irritated because, like, literally, I don't know nothing right now. Like, I'm just here. tell y'all that this is like a really really random vlog but i'm in minnesota and honestly i got here last night and i have not been vlogging because i just haven't been to mutu but we are about to go to my favorite brunch spot out here and i'm gonna like link everything i'm gonna put everything up so y'all know where to go because this is my favorite spot Okay, alright, that's fine, okay Think we got too sexy for that metro house Diamond popped out, almost swallowed 60,000 Section need more things in here, I like it crowded Yeah, I like it crowded Oh, you like the boy, well tell me what you like Yeah, I'm to the detail, boy. 
on two tone on choker. Young niggas always ready to murder some call them smokers. Young nigga that push you on make sure the car get Hit a 360, win me, win her left to see. That's that action. Her best work on her knees. Too sissy for this cash. Too sissy for this surf. Too sissy for these pills. I'm too sissy for this deep. I get cash wherever I fly. Got bitches sissing on me. Money cars and all the jury make up in the city. Hey guys, I have been going through it, okay? I have been going through life. I have been trying to figure myself out. I've been discouraged. I've been unmotivated. I've just been going through it right now. And honestly, I don't be having people to talk to about what I'm going through. So I just usually like deal with it by myself. And I distance myself from like the world, from like everything, everybody. I'm slacking on TikTok too. I don't post on Instagram. I just go to work. I just got off work. And it's date night. Um, me and my girlfriend both need to clear our heads. So we're just about to go have a picnic and just take some time to ourselves. Y'all don't be mad at me because I am trying. We're about to go on our picnic. Um, I got all of our activities already. And then um, we're about to go grab some food. I don't know where I want to have the picnic yet. It's a little like humid outside. It's hot, but it's not like cold. But all right, let's go, y'all. We in Walmart with it. That mango spears, we could literally take. Hey Amen. <laughs> My girlfriend is allergic to mangoes. If she wasn't allergic to mangoes, I could literally have me a whole mango with that one thing. I have not ate mangoes in so long, and when I finally got the chance to eat mangoes, I tore that shit. Up. Stay focused. Don't talk about what you're gonna do. Don't just dream about what you're gonna do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it, be about it. Be about that action and go do it. Keep your eye on your intention. Don't let any outside distraction or your own insecurity stop you from your goals. Embrace that struggle. Surviving that struggle will strengthen you. Look how far you've come and how much you contributed. Keep pushing. Forget the fear, forget the doubt. Keep investing and keep betting on yourself. so good y'all I got one sock on but it's a good morning it rained I'm gonna make some pancakes I have my wisdom tooth removal tomorrow and I'm so scared but everyone says let's just get it over with and not worry about it when I get older because when I get older it will hurt more yeah everyone says when I get older it will hurt more and I will have more health problems. So I just want to get that out of the way now. But I'm trying to eat as much as possible today because my appointment is tomorrow. Eat as much as possible today so um, I can be a little filled up. Like, anywho, so I can be a little filled up and um, 
because I'm going to have to eat a lot of soft foods. I promised to show you guys my vanity, so I'm about to show you guys right now. We're gonna do a little tour. Okay, my only con about this vanity is the little strings around it. I wish it was just lights that automatically go on, but it's whatever. I'll get used to it as time goes. I have it plugged in right now. It does not come with a bottom piece, so you're gonna need to provide your own. And it comes with um, a light setting, so. This is how you do it. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's from Amazon. You turn it on, and it comes on. You can change the light settings. You can, here, I'm about to like show you guys it while I change the light settings. Hold on. It turns to like a soft white, I think that's what you call it. And then really white, and then like a warm tone, it goes really warm. You have the options to choose whether you want it with this. This comes with it. And I have some of my makeup in here. And then I have my aesthetic side. I just got this new um, Dior blush. I'm so excited to try it. There is one, two, three, four, five drawers on this side. So I already showed you guys the top one. I need to clean it, so not so much. Just the makeup. And I have makeup in here. Makeup in here. And these are just like my under, my underwears and socks. But yeah, I love it so much, y'all. It's so cute. It's just the perfect size. And it's every girl's dream. Every girl's dream. To just have a vanity to do her makeup and sit and look pretty. I'm about to get ready to go to see my niece in the hospital. Um, I had to wait until my other niece got picked up. There's just too much kids, y'all. It is time for me to get my waist and tooth pulled. I'm low-key, so I'm not even low-key scared. I'm really scared. But TikTok and everybody told me drink a lot of pineapple juice. So that's what I've been doing. I've been drinking so much. I drank so much last night, like five of them. I'm so scared. I think they're going to put me to sleep. I don't know yet. But if they do, pray for me, y'all. Pray for me so I don't say that they're crazy. I took my clippings out because clippings low key hurt. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's an essential for every girl that loves to keep their hair done but doesn't always want to spend the funds. Clippings are perfect for that. But they are low key painful. I feel like maybe it's painful because my braid, my braid down. Hey, 
come on. I'm scarier than anything we're going to see in this forest. Oh, that one. That's throwback. The only ogre to ever speak with three wheat fields. Right. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> really wish I could stop and really talk to y'all right now, but I am about to go do my hair and I am very late. My hair is on shrinkage right now. I just got out the shower. So yeah, I am very late. Bring me out the plastic. I've been acting brand new. Y'all, my hairstyle is snap per usual. She ate that. She just does it for me every time. Like, and then she's so fast, bro. Like, I'm telling you, close your eyes and wake up. Sure, you done with your hair already. That's my girl. That is my girl. And she know I love me a good boho. When she was done, she was like, there you go. Yeah, and it's all the way to my legs. I love it so bad. <laughs> okay, I'm about to go grab some food because I'm so hungry.